and welcome to the Cornish kitchen and today we're going to be cooking raw mop. Now raw mop is never normally cooked but unless you really like the stuff right um, and you're in the mood for it it's horrible and so what we're going to do is we're going to cook it so we're basically buying this stuff as a preserved kept item and then we're going to cook it. Come and see! And here we are with the raw mop. Now raw mop is basically herring preserved in spirit vinegar, uh, often with um, some garnishes like um, onion and gherkin and things like that. So now I'm going. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to cook this because you've got to be in the mood to eat it as raw mop, and I'm not in the mood. What I want to do is I want to enjoy some herring and so I'm going to cook it. And this is really done, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And that's what it looks like. And so I drain it off into the sink, like so. Good shake. I squeeze. And out come the juices. And back to the counter. This is what it looks like when the juices are, are removed. And you can see the onions and the like. So what we do, we take one out, like so. And we open it up. And there's the onions and the fillet of herring. Drop it into some water. What we're doing is we're washing off the acidity. Wash them off, wash off the acidity. So that's the fillet of herring. Put it on the plate, take the other one out. Rinse it off. flat. Now I'm going to rinse it again so you can see the murkiness of the water and what we've washed off so far. Those are the onions and uh, bits of gherkin. Well, we're going to fry up those onions separately later. Here we have a filter uh, and we're going to lay the, the fish inside and it out and we're going to put it under the tap and rinse it off a bit more. Under the tap, <coughs> you want to get it through the as much of the acid as possible. That will be fine. We'll shake. Now, when you take the fillet out, It smells more herringy than vinegary. Okay, now what we're going to do is to lay it onto the kitchen towel to dry it off a little. And we lay the second fillet out on the paper to dry off a bit. Now I get a couple of pieces of kitchen towel, four, four layers there, and just blot it. Just blot it. Up oh, and blot it again. Pat down quite hard because that keeps the fish nice and firm. Like so. So now we have a plate and we take the fillets, peel them off. The very important when you're doing, doing this is to have the uh, skin side down on the, on the base. Now what we're going to do is take some cayenne pepper. Now cayenne pepper is a slightly alkaline. Now the vinegar in the, uh, the raw mop where, where it's been preserved is acidic. So the cayenne pepper will help to uh, neutralize some of the remaining acidity in the fish. Give it a, a peppering. 
just like that. Lots of uh, cayenne, but we will lose some of the uh, um, the heat of that as we proceed with the with the cooking. So we'll now turn it over, and so we're peppering the skin side, and we can turn it over very much as if you are um, doing pastry. Just a uh, to pepper it, uh, to powder it, helps to dry it off. And then we got what we're going to do is to get a little bit of turmeric, taking the turmeric and giving a, a little dusting of turmeric. Now, what the purpose of the turmeric is, apart from a very slight flavour, it uh, improves the the colour because the uh, herring is a white fish. But when it's uh, uh, been pickled in the, um, to make it into roll mop, it turns very white, almost uh, um, deathly white. It's not so um, 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 gastronomically uh, enticing. Our following ingredient is the garlic salt. And we're adding garlic salt, but we're not because it's, as usual, garlic salt is hydroscopic and it absorbs all the moisture in the air and it's hard to get out. So what we're going to do is to open the lid and using a, a knife um, try and get some on. Ah, it's so solid. Actually rub it on. And your final ingredient is the uh, rainbow pepper. Uh, worn out spice because again this is only uh, an anti-acid so it's, uh, the flavor of this is isn't too important yummy pepper next we heat the wok so we put that on the highest heat and we put the wok on top you can use a frying pan but uh, I love cooking in a wok because it's um, good fun. So, so whilst the um, pan is heating up, the detritus, this is the uh, onions and the gherkins and all the uh, other miscellaneous uh, that was put in the uh, original mix. We take it over to the sink and we have our, our sieve and we pour it all through. And then we give it a jolly good wash. Back into the uh, jug to drain. Olive oil. But alas, it's almost all gone. Then in go the onions and the gherkin. The onions and the gherkin to reduce down quite a lot because any residual acid we want to burn off. Enough oil in there, I'm going to add a bit of butter just to uh, make sure it doesn't burn too badly. Okay, that should do for that. So we're going to put that on the plate. Now we're turning the heat down and we're down. And we're going to add some more butter. About that much to start with. I'm trying to cook this with, with as little as little butter. Let's keep the uh, don't forget to move it away from the heat, you don't have to keep it on the heat. Buttered. Now off the heat a little bit. And we're going to take the, uh, the fillets and we're going to put them that side down. And 
reason we do that is to keep the moisture on the underside while we give it to the initial. Back onto the heat on the, uh, the lower setting. But we do need to keep it moving. The last thing we want to do is to put the stick. So we turn the heat up to maximum again. That is just about done. So now we can toss back the onions. We warm them up. And stop it a little bit. Like so. Heat off. Now, it doesn't look that tasty because it's all mixed together, but in reality, the blends of flavours are absolutely divine. So, let me demonstrate it. That's really, really good. Most of the acidity has gone. This is best eaten with some brown bread. But, uh, it's still got the roll mop flavour, but it's very much more subdued. I've eaten all of it, except for some of the onion and uh, a, bit of cor a couple of bits of courgette. Um, or gherkin, or gherkin is. Um, it was delicious, absolutely delicious. But even with the washing, it retained some of the acidity. So you need to look for ways to reduce the acidity. Eating it with bread, is fine for that but I think we could have because we utilized the onion and the gherkin which was in the pot um, that obviously had more acidity to it so we'd be better off if we discarded that rather than trying to use it but the use of the herring raw mop cooked like that was really really good and I would recommend that so what do we think? We think that's really good. It's still slightly acid though, isn't it's, it? It's still acid. This is why you need some some bread. Mm. Bread probably better than crackers, but bread. Mm. Just plain to, bread, to, no butter to, um, on it. Don't need butter, it's very buttery. To uh, uh, absorb some of that acidity. It's quite sweet but as well, um, isn't it? Say? It's very good. In, in the, uh, obviously with the cayenne, you've got the, the heat. But you've got the nice haunting flavours of the uh, yeah, of yeah. the of the herring and, and mm. the raw mop, and so um, it's a good recipe. You try it and enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us at the Cornish Kitchen. 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 Bye. Don't be with me.